Hi, it's Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group that is ran by Samantha over at Thoughts on Tomes. And I will leave a link to the Goodreads group in the description down below. Today's topic is the Top 5 Books That You Didn't Get To in 2017. So if you want to hear about the 5 books that I wanted to read last year but time just wouldn't let me, stay tuned. Okay, so coming in at number five is One Last Thing Before I Go by Jonathan Troper. This tells the story of a one-hit wonder struggling musician who is dying. His ex-wife is getting ready to get married to this terrific guy. And his teenage daughter has just told him that she's pregnant. And the only reason why she told him she was pregnant is because she doesn't care about his opinion or care about disappointing him. The only opinion she cares about are those of her mother and her mother's soon-to-be husband. So without telling his ex-wife or his daughter that he's dying, he sets out to make amends with them both. And I know that coming in at number four is The Education of Margaret Sanchez by Lilium Rivera. This tells the story of Margaret who is caught stealing money from her father's wallet and because of this she's grounded and forced to work in her family's grocery store. Margaret despises having to work at the grocery store because she has put so much time and energy into crafting this image of like who she wants to be at her prep school and if the popular kids see her working at a grocery store it's going to put her at the bottom of the social totem pole in her school. So because of this, Margaret resents her family and she's going to stop at nothing to make sure that her family doesn't ruin what she worked so hard for. This is a coming of age story about realizing that sometimes the things that you feel are important aren't really important at all. At number three is Aftercare Instructions by Bonnie Pip Pipkin. Pipkin. This tells the story of 17-year-old Genesis who is labeled troubled in her small New Jersey town because she's pregnant. And she relies on the comfort of her relationship with her boyfriend, Peter, that is, until Peter leaves her at Planned Parenthood when they're supposed to be having a meeting to terminate an unwanted pregnancy. And because of this, it makes Genesis question everything. And so now Genesis has this new identity. She is trying to learn to rely solely on herself. And this book is told through a four-part play and it's basically the love story and the deterioration of the love story between her and Pete. And it's blurbed by A.S. King. People have been raving so much about this book. And I so coming in at number two, oh, I thought I had these memorized. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is an Alice in Wonderland prequel dedicated to the Queen of Hearts. And coming in at number one is I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Marie Gu. This is about a this is a story about a girl who has never been successful with love and she's obsessed with K dramas and she decides one day after the this mysterious new kid comes in that she has a crush on kind of she decides that she's going to use a 10-step K-drama plan to get him to fall in love with her. So that is it for my top five Wednesday books that I didn't get to in 2017. If you have a book that you were really, really excited for last year or you were most anticipating but something happened and you couldn't get to it, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always looking to add books to my TBR so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share the video. It helps me tremendously. And if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can subscribe and hit that.
bell button so you'll be notified when I upload new content. And I'm not going to do it again because this is not a matte lip. But as always, until we meet again, bye.